A classic case of, of delamination. The water intrusion on the side of a fifth wheel. See the sidewall is quite bubbled. Yeah, that shows. Pretty house. And we've taken a light fixture out. The lamination probably started around that light, that water intrusion. This is all soft and bubbled. And you see the phylon has delaminated all the way along the edge. We have some permanent deformation to the phylon. We'll never be able to get this straightened out. We'll have to just deal with it the way the best we can. And the delamination continues down along the edge here where the trim has been removed. So we're going to fill this area today. Along here, clamp it up, and come back tomorrow. We'll try. We'll, we'll set this up in here. Just try to go right to the steel. Supply the putty knife. I can actually come in here and get a hold of the Luan, pulling it out and away, allowing me to. Waste not want not, right? Part A of the SLV resin, part B of the SLV resin, syringes, our shim, gloves, mixing and spreading tools, uh, and the two syringes. And our instructions, which we'll want to read thoroughly, talks about attaching the syringes to the tubing, how to make the injection system work and as well as some clamping ideas. We need to remove 5 sixteenths of an inch from the tip. Lining it up. This should fit over the tube nicely. And with a little bit of pressure. Until it's about 3 eighths. Take caution and care to be careful to keep the tape clean as possible and very tight around the syringe. Keep our tubing and allow it so we can put one or two inches of tubing up into the delaminated area and having the syringe pointing downward, which will give us a little bit of advantage of gravity as opposed to trying to pump upward. So I'm thinking I want maybe maybe four inches of four to six inches of tubing. Part two, using the epoxy, relatively yeah. easy to mix by volume. It's a simple three to one by volume ratio. So we're three to one volume ratio. So to make it easy, I'm going to put in 300 milliliters of resin and then have to add another 100 milliliters of resin for the 3 to 1, which takes me up to the amount of 400. So 300 millimeters of resin, topping it off with 100 milliliters of hardener for a total of 400 milliliters.
40 minute window starts now, so it's nice to have a timer set. We're going to watch this countdown. We want to have this material on the coach in about 15 or 20 minutes. That's our goal. So we're going to pour the mixed material into the syringe. To leave room for the plunger. I'm going to lubricate the plunger with a little resin and then wiggle it to allow the air to escape. I have the plunger in place. Let go. I'm going to start to flow and you just have to go slow and easy. Right beside me as I pump the resin in. And we're going to go to the, to the side closest. I'm going to use your We don't want the resin to drip out. But the roll out. Looks good. Corner. the bottom edge of the file on and now we're going to start to fill in this area using the port from the light. This is a large area. This is a fairly extreme case. So we're going to fill it from the top allowing the resin time to flow down into the laminated area and then we're going to manipulate the siding to try to spread it out. We'll feed the tube in between each layer independently. I put a little bit of a cut on the tubing to allow it to slide in. And then we can pump it in again into the other layer, pumping it in. And we'll do that until we use all our resin.
What we really try to do is oh, space. Hang on a second. Let's get a little plate. You must catch both of us. Let me get a plate so I can hang on. That. bonding all the way down from the light and down along the bottom. So the product worked well. It was able to flow, manipulate the way down, laminated area has been rebonded successfully.